It's a beautiful morning. Let's take a look of what we have in the kitchen. There are apples and bananas on the tabletop. They were placed at their normal position and it looks totally fine. Out of the blue, one of the apples started rolling and under the influence of gravity, it falls to the floor. It keeps rolling, rolling and rolling. The apple is picked, washed and prepared for cooking. Before that, let's do some inspection. Not clear enough? The apple got some bruises due to high impact from the dropping event. The bruise part surely seems unappetizing. Browning of foods can be either non-enzymatic or enzymatic. When a certain fruit are bruised or cut, the tissue exposed to the air quickly darkens. By the time the tissue is exposed to oxygen, phenolic enzymes bring oxidation of phenols in the fruit. This results in the formation of brown pigments called melanins. One slice is stored as a control and the other slice is put in water, salt water, sugar solution and vinegar respectively. After 30 minutes, apple slices in sugar solution and salt water maintains its desirable characteristic. Emerging the apple slices in water salt or sugar solution can reduce the contact with oxygen. However, the apple becomes very mushy when it just soak in water. Hence, salt and sugar solution is necessary due to their osmotic pressure. Bananas contain polyphenol oxidase and other ion containing bioactive compounds which react with oxygen when the cells are cut open. When exposed to the air, these bioactive compounds react in an oxidation process and turning the flesh to brown. Acid, such as lemon juice, will retard the browning reaction. The activity of enzyme will diminish when the pH decreases below pH 4. Let's cook caramelized apple and observe the phenomenon of non-enzymatic browning. Non-enzymatic browning usually involves sugar or related compound and does not require enzymes. This process is called caramelization. When sugars are heated over their melting points, it will gradually turn brown to form caramelized sugar. The extreme heat pulls water out of sugars and undergoes series of reactions that polymerize to brown compound. Now, let us look at this truly wonderful piece of meat. In its raw state like this, it doesn't smell of anything very much. But put on the pan here, something wondrous will happen. It is called the Maillard reaction. The Maillard browning is the reaction of building blocks of protein, the amino acid with naturally occurring sugars in the foods. Once the reaction kicks off, it becomes more and more complex and intensifies as the product of each reaction get involved in their own reaction. The Maillard reaction unlocks the flavor, aroma and color of meat. The reaction is responsible for many colors and flavors in foodstuff such as baking bread, 
roasted coffee, frying onions and garlic. By understanding the Brownian reaction, it is a gateway to understand the chemical and physical process of cooked and uncooked food.